So you're wondering how much money you need to have down. Do I need 20% down in order to purchase a home? We're gonna talk about that today. Hi, I'm Christy Bryant with the Best of Austin Living Team at Keller Williams Realty. And I am really excited today to be here with Beth Thompson and Jessica James with Cornerstone Home Lending. Do I need to wait to buy a home until I have 20% down? That is the number one question I think I have from people who are on the fence about whether they should continue renting, sign another lease, or buy a home. And I think the best way to break it down is to understand that 20% down used to be the standard. You used to have to have 20% down uh, to buy a home loan. However, a couple things came into place. Uh, mortgage insurance is the biggest one. Uh, mortgage insurance protects the lender in case of default. And you can get a loan with mortgage insurance either through a conventional loan, which is privately insured, or through an FHA loan, which is insured by the federal government. For our purposes and our comparison right now, I'm going to look at a conventional loan with just 5% down instead of 20% down. So you can get a loan with 5% instead You can get a loan with 3% down, but I ran my numbers at 5% because a lot of people tend to have that extra 2% if they've got a little bit of money saved. Okay. Um, I also wanna add, you don't even need 3%. We can get down payment assistance loans, and you and I will talk about that on another video at, at another time. Um, however, let's talk about 5% down. Let's say you're paying $2,000 a month for rent right now. That seems to be pretty standard for somebody in a two or three bedroom house in Austin. That's correct. That $2,000 a month, if translated to a loan with 5% down, would be about a $275,000 sales price. You can talk to your clients about where they can find houses like that, but they're definitely around <laughs> they here. They are, they are, and so they might have to travel a little bit outside of Austin, right. but you can or guess. get a condo or something Correct. like yes. that. You will have paid $24,000 to your landlord, so that's money that goes into your landlord's pocket. However, that $2,000 payment on a $275,000 house will build a ton of equity in that house over time. Let's look at some real numbers. After two years, you have about $38,000 in equity. That's comparing what the house is appreciated wow. to, assuming it appreciates at 5%, which is about average, roughly. It is even a little low Even a little low, but yep. it's a nice conservative number yep. after two years. Plus, you don't have that $24,000 that's wasted. After five years, you have more like, oh, $56,000 in equity in the property. Um, it's a huge difference. That is. And if it takes that's you five, money you get. Right, exactly. And if, if it takes you five years to save enough to have 20% down or $55,000 in our example, there's no reason. In this case, you can still save that money if you can afford it, but you also have it through the equity that's just happened by owning a home. So I say buy soon. We don't know where the rates are going, and we also don't know where home values are going in Austin. It's a great time. That is a great example. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're welcome. This is Christy with the Best of Austin Living Team at Keller Williams Realty. So thankful that Beth Thompson and Jessica James from Cornerstone Home Lending shared all their fantastic knowledge and tips with us today. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And you can see all the different videos that were done with Beth and Jessica. If you have questions, definitely leave it in the comments and we will get back to you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Have a great day.